everyone, Hannah here, welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome, my name is Hannah. Today's video is the Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line haul. There's a lot of it, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to lift these up. So I've got this full bag and then I have oh, this full bag and Loungefly backpacks. My voice is going in and out as well, so I will apologise in advance for my voice. Oh, I don't know how to do this. The first thing I'm going to show is ears because it feels my head feels naked without any ears on. So these were just stand -em, stand -em, standard Mickey Mouse ears. And you can custom them in Magic Kingdom in the Christmas shop. That's where I got mine done. So when you're looking at Cinderella Castle, if you turn left, it's the Christmas shop just there. I believe, if I remember correctly, it was $5 per ear as well, just for the fronts. You can get the back done as well, but that would be another $10. So I had Enchanted on that side because of chanted and some Mickey balloons because why not they do seasonal ones as well now Disney parks ears sometimes push the back of my head these ones I found aren't too bad so I can get away with wearing these ones for longer which is very nice because I like them they're my enchanted ears now I am going to move this bag over here though for a moment oh there is no rhyme or reason to this what I probably should have done was group things together so here's all the plushies here's all the pins here's all the clothes I'm not that organized so it's just going to be a mishmash of all different sorts some things in here are gifts for people as well if it's very obvious I might not show it just because then they might know who it's for and I don't want that righto some things have already been given as gifts as well so some things are already gone and out the house this one you may remember from travelling back day because it was rather chilly it is it's ever so slightly cropped and it's the most beautiful blue colour i love blues especially kind of pastel blues like this and it has mickey's hand on the front but we also have mickey on the sleeve just there so i have worn this one a couple of times i'm really excited to wear some of these bits now i've waited long enough i'm gonna have to just kind of plonk things there aren't i because Everything's nice and neatly folded and it's going to be unfolded now. Disney Cruise Line hoodie. So the back, I'll start with the back, is just plain. However, it's like a, like a tie-dye effect to it. Now, I'm not always the biggest fan of green, but I really liked this hoodie and there was just the one left in my size, so I figured, why not? We have a stripe pattern down the sleeve. Excuse me if you can hear my voice going. It's been in and out a lot, so I may have to pause in a bit and try and get it back the front <clears throat> excuse me it says cruising through life and it makes me want to go back on another disney cruise have you ever done a disney cruise let me know if you have we have done the disney magic at sea when it was kind of the uk staycations we did that for two nights and then recently the wish love the wish so we went from one of the smallest ships to the biggest so i feel like we need to do one of the is it the fantasy and dream that are the mid-sized ships and then is it wonder that's the same as the magic size wise someone let me know i'm not 100 percent sure about that one this actually i probably should have worn this already because it's christmas theme oh <clears throat> excuse me this is kind of it's a polo neck which i don't have polo necks so i'm intrigued as to how this might fit and feel but it's a green colour again and it's got a lot of the characters on in their ski outfits which is oh th this part's the front it's the same design all over though but it feels like this would be really toasty warm and i'm the sort of person that's always cold so any warmth i can get i am happy for it i'm just looking down to see all the bits and bobs now i had to get this i can obviously only well I mean, you can wear Christmas stuff whenever you want. It's it's only really acceptable around Christmas, though. But because we were on the wish for a Merry Christmas cruise as well, I had to get the Christmas cruise spirit jersey. I'm just losing my words there. It has glitter on it. I love it when things glitter. Sequins and glitter. I'm like a magpie drawn to the sparkle. And we've got Captain Mickey and Minnie. We've got some other Disney characters on there as well that don't have cruise outfits on but Mickey and Minnie do. Does the snow? wait, the snowman has a captain's hat on as well. And that's the back. Disney Cruise Line. I believe these were on all of the cruises, not, not just the Wish. There were, did I actually? I don't know if I got anything Wish specific. 
we'll find out in one of these bags because I don't know where everything is. <laughs> Not that I should admit to that. Oh, there's all the pins. I found all the pins now. They're layered down there. Right on. Pins might be next then. Spirit jersey jackets. Now, when I went to Disneyland Paris, they were sold out property wide. I think they only had XXXL left. Walt Disney World had them in abundance. They had all of them. So I have gotten two actually. Where's the other one? <laughs> Why get one when you can get them in different colours? So we have, oh, I'm doing it backwards, we have World Disney Walt. Felt weird saying it backwards. And it is Spirit Jersey brand with a hood, however, she zips. We are a zip up now. Instead of just like a pullover jumper, we are a zip up hoodie. What size did I get? I got extra small. Now I am a UK size 8 to 10, depending where you shop. And I tend to get either extra small in spirit jerseys or small. This is just a generic Walt Disney World sweatshirt and it's medium and it's nice and baggy. Whereas spirit jerseys are meant to be oversized so you can size down unless you want that really baggy fit. Each to their own personal preference. Pins! I have two mystery box pins that I haven't opened yet. They are Little Mermaid pins. I don't remember buying these. How many times am I going to say that? This is so bad, isn't it? I don't remember buying this one. Whoops. I believe there are two. Let me have a look. Aha! Here it is. Each box contains two randomly selected pins. I got two, so there's four pins. It's Little Mermaid and Sisters, which I am ever so slightly obsessed over. Now, I don't have any scissors around me, so I'm going to... We'll leave the one just there, and I'll do that one later. If it's too hard to get into this without scissors, I'm afraid we're not going to be able to. But if there's a little pull cord, which I cannot tell, this is going to be a journey, isn't it? This is going to be quite the video. Righto, is there a... Will, will this just pull? Oh, here we go. There we are. The bleh. Oh, I think this one's a, this is a quatter. Aerial and a quatter. I am testing my knowledge now. Because I love Aerial and Sisters. I know I'm not going to have the whole set. Should I just open that one now? No, I might open that one later. Because you want to see the rest. Oh, and we have Aerial and King Triton. But Daddy, I love him. Where's Triton? There he is. He has to go there then, doesn't he? Oh, that's a thought. Ariel signed Lounge Fly. If I remember, I'll pop a clip of that in later because Ariel signed it for me. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of pins and things. Right, I got this ring as a little bit of jewellery. It's just like a castle with a little jewel underneath it. Jewel, jewellery. Also, can you hear the squeak? It's not my bones. Honest. It's the little stall that I'm on. Oh, goodness. Oh, I forgot I bought this. It's a little calendar. Well, a little bit late to start using that now. But it's a tiny little calendar with two kitties on. I'm going to have to start popping that out on my desk then. Well, I've already lost a couple of months for that, haven't I? Pins galore. Is there any rhyme or reason? These ones are cruise pins. Okay, most of them are cruise pins. So we'll just one, two, one by one. Captain Mickey Mouse. He is so sweet. Look at him. So I thought... Captain Mickey, Disney Cruise. Makes sense. This one says, oh no, that's Mickey and Minnie's. Excuse me, here we go. Oh, this one is specific to the wish because it was for the Aqua Mouse. When we went on the Aqua Mouse, I then decided I needed a pin because we had done it. So, Aqua Mouse pin. This one I had to get as well. This is wish specific. The price, oh, this one was 12 99 which actually I feel like it's really good for a pin that's this big and has like a pivoting moment to it so it's from the back of the ship where it says the Disney Wish and Rapunzel pivots pivot! she does move I really like that one. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna start falling what else is cruise? this one is cruise and this one is cruise okie doke this one says well castaway key because we went to castaway key I don't collect a huge amount of pins but then there are some special ones like this that I thought, well, 
Why not? Good tides we bring. Oh, because cruise, tide, waves. I see. Christmas cruise pin. So rude not to. Because we were on a Christmas cruise. I believe this one was at the till and they didn't have a huge amount of them. Whether it was just that when they got lower they then bought more out. I don't know. Okay, these two from Hollywood Studios. Because me and Melanie met Ariel and then we saw Fantasmic. So, I mean, makes sense. They are both yellow. And I, I don't remember the colours and the prices. I really don't. So you're going to have to have a little guess with that one. I be, Actually, did I get all of these from Hollywood Studios? I think I did. Hollywood Studios was winning for pins. So it says, best date night ever. And it's the Mickey and Minnie Runnies... Blah, blah, blah. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. That is my favourite Hollywood Studios ride. I'm not going to sing it, partially because my voice is going and partially because we don't want it to rain. Even though I think it is raining right now, so we'd, we don't want it to book it down. This pin was 19 99 so this costs more than that big Wish pin. And it's smaller. Figure that out if you can. And it's for the Frozen 10th anniversary and it's Anna and Elsa with a little Olaf. But when they're younger... Because I love Frozen. I love Frozen. And this one... Oh, it's Walt Disney Day. Excuse me, you don't want to see this bit, but my voice is going. I absolutely adore it when there's pins with Walt on. So as soon as I saw that this one had been released with Walt and Mickey for Walt Disney Day, I had to get it. And I'm pretty sure I got that one from Hollywood Studios. I think that was behind the counter. Okay. I see plushies. Ooh. Right, this is a headband with a very long tag. I will be cutting off. And it's frozen, so there's Olaf just there. I got it from the Norway Pavilion just after you exit the Frozen ride. And it's just like a beautiful like pink and purple. Just like, oh, I don't know what you would call that material. It's like a shiny material, just over the headband. Not silk. It's not silk. Maybe it's like silk. It's a shiny material and it's a beautiful headband. So there we go. These bits. Oh, I see. Oh, this was the magic band I got. I got just kind of the generic princessy magic band and the festival of the holidays cookie straw cup it is just a plastic cup but i figured that was a lovely little keepsake and we weren't expecting to get this at the end obviously i've washed it out before putting stuff in there I'll pop that down there oh forgot i got this <laughs> whoops it's a munchling and it's figment gingerbread cookie figment with frosting i think i might keep him in the box though so I feel like it's, it might be easier to stack things on top of and underneath. So I think I might keep them in the box. But it's like a Christmas figment munchling plush. I don't have a huge amount of the munchlings, but I love figment. So I was rude not to. Very rude not to. See, I've got keys everywhere. So, oh, this key has fallen over. That is so, very unacceptable. Shall I do... There's more clothes and then plushies. I'm going to do a few more clothes first. Then some plushies. I don't remember this one. How bad is that? It was, it's been a few months. Things have just been folded and waiting for me to do this video. Oh, Castaway Key Zip Up Jacket. Now I now I remember it. It's a, like a beautiful ocean blue colour. So it's a bit more of a vibrant blue than the pastel. But I thought it was beautiful. Castaway Key Bahamas. That part is all embroidered in as well. Zip up. What's the back say? It says Beach Day Castaway Key. And that does look embroidered as well it does feel quite thin so this would not keep you warm it's more of just like a light probably like a summer jacket really if anything this is a t-shirt i know exactly what this is it's elsa from the 10th anniversary collection now it is a bit cropped so i sized up i'm not the biggest fan of cropped things so if i really like them i will just size up and then it's not as cropped and she also sparkles Can you see that shimmer 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 that's the back and we have Elsa on the front. I love it. Covered in snowflakes. There's a Frozen 3 coming, isn't there? And I'm a little bit scared. Just because I feel like they left it fine with Frozen 2. Like that end, see, it's starting to push a little bit now. I felt like the Frozen 2 ending was fine. So I'm just worried. Do we need another one? Don't get me wrong, I love Elsa. But at the same time, I don't want them to mess with her. This is a sweatshirt. Oh, I got this from Animal Kingdom. 
I went shopping with Melanie and we both kind of, oh, I like this, what do you think? And both of us are the sort of people that will go, just buy it. So a lot of money was spent with me and Melanie in Animal Kingdom. It is. What colour would you say this is? You can see this is like a pastel blue. It's almost got like a tinge, tiniest tinge of green in there. But it's still blue with a tinge of green. I'm not the best with colours, as you can tell. So that is the back. And again, this one is cropped, so I sized up again. And we've got Mickey on the front. Just like a basic, basic little Mickey with Walt Disney World. He's kind of got like a brown effect to him. And then he is stitched and embroidered in as well. But I love it. He's so sweet. What is this one? What is this? I might just finish the clothes in there. There's fluff coming off all over me. Oh, it's figment. Oh, okay. So that's the back. And I bought this right after I met figment. He was so much fun. Weirdly, was there a... Am I right in thinking there was a three to six hour queue when he first came to Epcot? I waited less than six minutes to meet him and it was quite it wasn't that early in the morning we'd already done the Moana walkthrough and test track and some other stuff so it wasn't like it was first thing in the morning but I mean I was very glad because it meant I just got to see him really quickly so it says one little spark lights up for you one little spark we're not going to sing because we don't want it to rain even more and there he is on the front this one is it feels like a t-shirt it's like a long sleeve t-shirt so again, won't keep you the warmest, but summertime. Summer. This one. I believe this shirt, sorry, my hair's getting in my, in the way. I believe this shirt came in about four different colours, but it is the, the softest thing that I felt on Disney property to the point where I'm now wishing that I'd got one in a different colour, in a much bigger size, and used it as a sleep shirt. I kind of regret not doing that now, because something this soft, it's beautiful. It's almost got like a, like an acid wash, not tied out, this one's more of like an acid wash. And it's a beautiful pink, and on the front it has Walt Disney World, and it's very stretchy. Very stretchy as well. I have no idea what material this is, and I'm not going to check because I don't know what I'm looking for. But it has Walt Disney World on the front. And it's a lovely pink colour. Can you tell I like pinks and blues? I feel like pink and blue just kind of suit me a bit better than other colours. This t-shirt is an extra large children's. Yes, I can fit into that. And UK 12 to 13 I can fit into, which is a plus when you see a kid's t-shirt that you want as an adult. Because Rapunzel with the Wish, I love Rapunzel, I love purple. But they didn't have anything like this for adults. So I thought, oh, XL. And it does fit me. And it's cheaper because it's kids. So, I mean, I'm lucky enough to get into that stuff. But it's teeny tiny. How tall am I? I'm five foot one and a half. It's a very important half. <laughs> right, next up is this. Oh, these are bottom. These were from the outlets. Ah, these were from the outlets. And they are, they seem like a mix between leggings and jogging bottoms to me. They've got the top of leggings, but then the rest feels like jogging bottoms. So it has, sorry, hectic, Walt Disney World down the leg with the red stripe. But this leg, we have figment on. Can you see him there and there? So I don't remember how much they were. I think they were only about $10 from the outlet. I didn't get a huge amount from the outlet this time. All the ears I got. Oh, well, these should have been with the jersey, see? No rhyme or reason. Cruise ears for Christmas. Christmas cruise ears. Look at the bow. I love it. You've got all the nautical bits on the back as well. And we don't have an obscenely long tag, which is just perfect. Righto. Is this the la No, it's not. We have two spirit jerseys from the cruise. Ooh, this one. Getting excitable. Castaway Key. Now apparently this was like a brand new release. I had no idea. And it's got, what would you, just like a mesh, like a mesh bottom to it. So obviously you would need a shirt underneath. Well I would. That's just my personal preference. Gold glitter. We love a bit of glitter. And then Castaway Key on the back. But I love how they've done in the word Castaway. They've made it look a bit like the island. 
with the sea and the beach, the ocean rather. I just really liked it. And it does feel really, this bit's really stretchy and soft as well. So obviously that's not going to keep you very warm. The wind will go straight through it. The second, I didn't even know that this existed. The second I saw it on the ship, I had to grab it. So I did. If you've been on any of the other Disney cruises and you have any other Disney cruise spirit jerseys, excuse me, my hair's annoying me, so sorry if it's annoying you with me keep messing with it. They each have a jersey with this part, the nautical stripes on the bottom, the cruise emblem, and then the name of the ship on the back with the character. Now, when they released the first Disney Wish jersey, it didn't have that. It didn't have this at the bottom and it had all the Fab Five on the back. Was there maybe another couple of characters? And I always thought they should have done one with Rapunzel on the back to match the others because OCD. Well, they have now. So I had to get it. Wish at the top and then Rapunzel. I just love it. I, and again, I went with extra small. It just fits me best. I could fit a small, but it would be quite baggy as a jersey. So for the most part, I will go with extra small unless they don't have them. Then I'll go with small. Do we just have... Oh, oh, hold on. There are two plushies left in that bag. But we have this as well. The Enchanted Book. Do I, have I pulled the string out yet? No, I haven't. So it's not going to play any music, although that will probably be copyrighted anyway. I actually have down there somewhere the big enchanted notebook so when i saw that they'd made them into these ornaments i had to get it there was this one sleeping beauty and cinderella and it says enchanted on the side just there as well now i haven't pulled the pull cord and i probably won't till nearer to christmas because i don't know how the batteries are going to be but you then open the book up and it does have some music from the film enchanted it had to be done where can i pop it just for now just there for now there we go because it'll stand up lovely there i have two plushies i don't know who to show first one was from magic kingdom and one was from the wish i'll do the wish plush first it's not specific to the wish i just got him on the wish after our arendelle night i love the big feet plush they are just the most adorable plush i can't stop smiling because they are always so happy when I went to Disneyland Paris, I saw the Big Feet Sven and I kind of regretted not getting him. So when I saw him on the Wish and then after eating an Arendelle, he had to come home with me and he's just adorable. The Big Feet plush obviously have big feet, but they are so ridiculously soft. It's unreal and they're just, they're perfect for cuddling. They just love hugs. So it's little Sven, look at his face, with his antlers he's just adorable the next plush again is a big feet plush let me grab him oh you oh, you've just seen him i was going to kind of try and do something silly from the side it's big feet poo bear look at his big feet and look at his face he's just ready for the honey he's like i would like a smackerel of honey please because he's braver than a bee and taller than a tree and smarter than a goose or was it a moose? <laughs> but yeah. So they are, and they're kind of the same size. They're more like the medium size plush for the big feet. I have a feeling they were about $30 each. I'm not 100% sure. But when you're on the cruise ships, they won't open the shop until about 30 minutes after you've departed because then there's no sales tax while you're out at sea, which is very appreciated. So you can spend even more money on the Disney cruise because you don't have to pay the tax. Not that I'm encouraging you to spend all your money, but do what you want right i am going to i had a thought as well excuse a sec i got two lounge flight from the cruise and two lounge flight from walt disney world i'm probably going to just really quickly show them now and do them as their own separate video because i like to show lounge flight in depth but that would make this a very long video so here are the two that i got from walt disney world had to get sequin and figment and I met Figment in this one. So really quickly, that's those two. But I am going to do a proper video on them and then a separate video on these two. Where I will tell you the story about this one because Norma, Norma saved the day. And then the 25th anniversary lounge fly. 
18 months I waited for this beauty but I will do those separately because I'll probably do a little mermaid bound for it I just wanted to quickly show you them so I'm very happy that I finally got that one only just right oh, next bag and again what's in the bag we'll find out together this however I bought this on December the 5th as soon as we had the pictures with the Walt statue I went straight into creations because I had seen this a couple of days before and I figured it's the most perfect time to purchase this they did have this in kind of full size as well as a proper big ornament I figured it's perfect size I haven't decided if I'm going to use it as an ornament yet or just kind of take the hook off and display him as is future Hannah decision and I can always hook it back on if I wanted to change it Ooh. around Christmas time I am not the biggest fan of hats hats and glasses best remove them I just feel like my head shape doesn't always suit hats however aerial hat look at this she's beautiful she glitters and she's purple so I thought you know what I mean obviously I'm going to take out these obscene long tags so I thought there we go and it says Ariel on the back just there as well so I now have a lovely Disney hat to wear when it is sunny outside I'm not going to put it on because I've got my ears on but you kind of get the idea I feel like purple suits me so it's fine two, two pairs of ears right ooh this is so bad I've just seen something that I forgot that I had they've actually released these on Shop Disney now typical but I got them from Walt Disney World anyway and actually the lounge fly last, when I last checked the lounge fly said coming soon so I may need to get that to matchy match it's like the play in the parks I have a feeling that the ears are all the same as well placement wise I'm pretty sure I looked through a couple and they all look the same and I love how it's a really thick chunky sequin bow so I really like that one and not massively obscenely long tags which we love Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's just my favourite in Hollywood Studios. So I had to get the ears. I've not seen these ones before, so I can only assume they released them after I was last there. We've got Little Tubie, Mickey and Minnie, and Pluto, and then we've got Goof at the back. The end. When you're back out the cartoon. I love them. Love them. I got a figment phone case, which obviously is not on my phone right now, so I might have to swap out after this because I forgot that I got that one whoops I also forgot we went to box lunch and I got this Little Mermaid kind of claw clip I need help with claw clips for some reason I've seen so many TikToks and they make it look so easy yet when I try and do it it looks silly so if anyone has any tips on how to use claw clips very easily please let me know because so far I can't seem to do it what's this Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway this one is a long sleeve oh that's the back well this is the back Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway I just it's one of the most feel-good rides possible I think that's why I love it so much it's just a sit-down ride and you have a different experience no matter which car you're in it's slightly different I think that, oh, I just like it I just really like it and then it says runaway oh <laughs> Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway on the sleeve and then that's the front with the little car just there forgot I got that whoops then I need to find room for all these things in the wardrobe oh this was from the outlet this was oh I'm sure these were about $100 for these Walt Disney World 50th bottoms $24.99 I've realised I've not been doing prices never mind who cares and it's the bottoms that match the spirit jersey but they're more like a sweat set why not what size did i get oh extra small because these are spirit jersey brand as well I, are these the only bottoms that spirit jersey has done i don't know i don't actually know that i'm kind of asking myself questions here aren't i here there's the other spirit jersey my hair's getting in the way again excuse me is it annoying you isn't much as it's annoying me what's this it's a sweatshirt oh this is like a very similar blue color so we'll go with the back first oh i might wear this tomorrow i forgot <laughs> i forgot 
after I got this one. That's so bad. Anyway, so the back is plain and the front is just like a standard Mickey with Walt Disney World. This feels like a thicker sweatshirt though, so this this will definitely keep me toasty warm. Because annoyingly I'm always cold. You should see the big slipper socks I have on right now. No, I'm not going to show you. That would be weird. This is the other spirit jersey jacket. This is more of like a teal blue sort of colour. Or is it more green? Teal bluey green. Decide for yourself. Yoink. Ah! Ah! There we go. Spirit jersey jacket. So again, we've got Walt. Do it the right way this time. Disney. And Weld. And it does feel nice and thick as well. It's a nice, thick, substantial jacket that feels like it would be very lovely and cuddly. Oh, right. I have a feeling this is the last item. It is. Oh, hair out of the way. This is the last item. Should I wear this one tomorrow? I've got like, things to wear forever now, haven't I? Show the front first. So, generic Disney World logo up the front. The bottom, however, changes to fleecy and we have Cinderella Castle in fleece on the bottom. Now, I think it doesn't scream Christmas to me. There's nothing specifically snowflakey. Is that a word on here? So I feel like you can wear it year round, even though it was kind of out of Christmas and the fleecy normally means Christmas. We'll wear it whenever. And then Walt Disney World across the back with the castle again at the bottom. I love it, it's beautiful. Because of this pad padded back part, I would never tumble dry a spirit jersey, just because I've done that in the past and then this back part starts to crack. And we don't want that, we don't want them to be ruined. I've had a couple where I accidentally did it and now they are kind of just round the house clothing items, which isn't the best, but hey ho, and I have new ones to replace them. I feel like when what I tend to do if I see something I've, I have started to get a lot better there were a lot of things that I saw that I wanted that I didn't get if there was something that I saw and I thought I really like that if I see it again I'm gonna grab it that's what I started doing this time compared to last time when I was just like oh I like that let me just grab it so I am getting better but treat yourself so I will be doing the four lounge flight I might do should I do them as one video or two I might do like the cruise lounge flight together they're just there and then the Disney World ones together. Because I like to show them off in all the details instead of just saying, here's this, here's this. Because I kind of love my lounge fly. I don't know what, actually, I say I don't know what my favourite item is. The 18 month wait is my favourite. But I will get into the story time for that when I do that video. But let me know what your favourite is. There's there's quite a lot to pick from. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!